Kelly Marie Alvarez from Lawn Fawn with the video for Simon Says Stamp. Today we are introducing our new Let's Toast Pull Tab add-on. This is an add-on die to our new Let's Toast stamp and it makes it into an interactive pull tab die. And look how cute this is, oh my goodness. So it helps you create a pull tab where the toast pops in and out and the track for the pull tab is hidden. So this is so much fun. So we're gonna go ahead and check out how to put these together and make two cards with it. So here is a look at all of the dies included with this set. This piece here helps you create the notch for your pull tab. This is the actual pull tab piece. Then next up, we have a sleeve that helps keep your pull tab moving nice and straight. We have this little piece here that tells the recipient where to pull. We have a rounded slot piece that's for creating a slot in your toaster and a straight slot piece that's for creating a slot in your card base. Next up, I'm gonna use this awesome ruler by my friend Courtney, I'm gonna link it below, to create a mark in the middle of my card, which is gonna be at two and one eighth inches. You can do this pull tab on any sized card, so that's really awesome. Then we're gonna create a line right down the middle of the card. Now you can just eyeball this, but I'm an exact kind of person. I like to measure everything out, so the pencil line is a really nice guide for me. So here for the notch, you can see I'm gonna take that piece and butt it up right up against the top of my card. And that's gonna make it nice and straight up against the top. And then I'll center it on my pencil line, hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through my die cut machine. And now I'm gonna have my notch right in the center of my card. Now here you can see the two slot pieces. We have the straight slot and then we have the curved slot. And we're gonna be working with the straight one when we're working onto our card base. Now you can place this slot anywhere on your card, just depending on where your toaster wants to go. So in this case, I'm gonna place my toaster right about here, and then I'm gonna take my pencil and make a right mark right at the top of that die cut. Then I can take that straight slot piece and line it right up with that little mark that I made, hold it in place with some low tack tape, run that through my die cut machine, and now I have a slot in the perfect placement for the card design that I want to create. Then I can go ahead and just erase that pencil line and no one will ever know it's there. So now we're working with that curved piece and we're gonna line that up right with the front slot on the toaster. We'll run that through our die cut machine and now you'll see that it's gonna create a slot that's the perfect width for the toast to go through. I also have a little toast piece that I've stamped and colored using my Let's Toast stamp set. Now we're gonna be working with that main pull tab piece and you'll see that the die creates some score lines for you right along either side of that main long piece. So you're gonna fold in at the one closest to the long piece and then you're gonna fold out on the other fold line, creating almost like a Z type fold. So you'll see we're gonna fold out in the other direction. So I'm gonna repeat that one more time. So we're gonna fold in on the score line closest to the center and then fold out on the other score line and then in on the one closest to the center and then out on the other score line, forming our pull tab mechanism piece. I'll then use my bone folder to just crease those folds down really, really well. Then next we're gonna take those two pieces and we're gonna hold them up together in the center. So we're just gonna hold those right in there and then we're gonna feed them through that slot and then we can open them right back up. Next, we're gonna take some tape runner and line that whole piece there with tape, so all the way to the top and the bottom. Then I'm gonna make sure that my pull tab piece is going straight through the notch at the top, and then we can attach our toast to this piece. And you'll see that the top of that piece there is going to line up with the top of the toast. So right there, you'll see, has a similar curve to the toast, and we're just gonna line that right up. Then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna work with the sleeve. So you'll see that the sleeve also has two score lines there. So we're gonna fold along both of those score lines. And then after we've folded both of those, you'll see that there's kind of a little rectangle in the center in between the two score lines. That is where we're gonna add our adhesive. So it's gonna go right there. So I'm just gonna put a little tape runner there. Then we're gonna take this sleeve and we're gonna line it up towards the top, up towards the notch, uh, right there around the pull tab. And this is gonna keep the pull tab from sliding back and forth. So we're gonna stick that right down onto the card base. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the piece on the right in, 
and then we're gonna fold the piece on the left end. So that little shorter one is gonna go on top. And the reason we're gonna do that is we don't want that shorter piece to get in the way of our pull tab moving. So we're gonna attach that to the outside just like that. And now you can see that it's gonna move straight up and down and it's gonna have barely any wiggle room instead of it sliding back and forth like it was before. You also don't need to worry about putting like foam adhesive on either side of the tab because that sleeve is gonna keep it in the perfect placement always moving straight up and down. So for the toaster, I'm gonna to use four tiny foam squares only on the outside edges so that they don't get in the way of my toast. Then we're gonna take it, we're gonna thread the toast through just like that, and then you're gonna move that toaster up until it just covers the slot. So this is so cool because we're covering up the slot so it really looks like magic when you do the pull tap. So now you can see how that toast can move in and out, but the slot is completely hidden, which is so cool. So now you're gonna put the toast all the way into the toaster, and then you're gonna trim off any of the excess. So depending on how tall or short your card is, or where you place your toaster on the card, you may cut off more or less of that pull tab. Then here is our little pull tab piece that's got that cute little arrow. It's got a score line that the die creates for you, so we're gonna fold it in half, and then add a bunch of adhesive to the inside part and attach that right to the top of that pull tab. And that arrow is going to let the recipient know that there's something cool that's going to happen when they pull that piece. So there you can see how fun is that. That toast can move in and out. The sleeve is keeping it moving straight up and down. And it's just the most adorable, awesome card. So now it's time to actually create a card with this. So I'm creating a four bar card, then that's three and a half by four and seven eighths. I've got my card base done, and now I'm gonna cut down some nitpicky paper to be that same size and layer that on top for my card base. Then next up, I'm gonna be working with a four bar stitched rectangle, and I'm gonna cut some beautiful plaid paper there and also this yellow striped paper as well. Just run those through my die cut machine. Then next up, I'm gonna take out my Knit Picky Pad here, and I'm gonna stamp my toaster from Let's Toast. So I'm gonna paper piece it to give it kind of like a white toaster look, but with a little texture detail. I'm also gonna stamp the smiley face and those cute little blush cheeks on there as well, and then die cut it with the coordinating die. Then I'm gonna use the rounded slot die that comes in the pull tab add-on to die cut the slot for the toast to move through. So next up, it's time to use our ruler again, and we're gonna make our mark right in the center of our piece, and then we're gonna make that pencil line going all the way down the center as our guide. Then we're gonna take that notch piece and line that up with the top of the card and also right with that pencil line right in the center, and we're gonna run that through. And now you can see that this is a smaller size rectangle, and the notch die is working perfectly with that size as well. Now I'm gonna take that toaster and place it where I want to on my card base and make a little pencil line right at the top of the toaster and use that as a guide as to where to line up the straight slot from that set. Run it through my die cut machine and then I can erase those pencil lines so no one will ever know they're there and I have my notch and my slot in perfect placement. Now before I start creating the interactive part of this card, I wanna add my little floor on there. So I just made a pencil line where I wanted that yellow paper to just kind of be under the toaster as if it was a floor for the toaster. And then I'm going to take the sentiment popping up to say, happy heart day. So this is gonna be a super cute Valentine's card. And I'm gonna stamp that out in some black licorice ink. Then we can take that floor piece for our toaster and layer that right on top. Next, I'm gonna die cut that pull tab piece and we're gonna fold in at the line closest to the center and then out and we'll repeat on the other side. We're gonna fold in and then out. Then I'm gonna use my bone folder to really make those folds nice and sharp. Then we can take the whole thing, put those two pieces together, just like that, and then we can feed it right through the slot of the card and we can open those pieces right back up again. Next, we're gonna take some tape runner and we're gonna run it along that whole piece right there, all the way top to bottom. And then we can go ahead and take the toast and line it up with the top of the white piece, just like that. Now you can see how that toast is gonna to move up and down. Now next up, we're gonna add our sleeve to make sure that our pull tab piece is moving nice and straight up and down. So we're gonna fold along the two score lines that the die created for us, and we're gonna add some adhesive in the middle there in between those two score lines. We'll flip it over, line it up with our pull tab piece and press down. And then we're gonna add some adhesive to that smaller flap and that flap is gonna be adhered to the outside of the whole sleeve, just like that. And now our pull tab is moving straight up and down. So next up, we're gonna take our foam squares and put them on either side of the toaster. All we need is just four on there. And then we're gonna thread that toast through 
and we could attach that toaster right down onto the card, making sure we cover up that slot with the toaster and now you can see just how cute that is. I'm gonna put the toast back in the toaster and then I'm gonna trim off any of the excess. So here you can see that we're trimming off a lot more since this is a smaller size rectangle. So I love that it's totally customizable. And then we're gonna use that same yellow striped paper and we're gonna run that through with the little pull tab piece, add some adhesive to that, and then just add that right on there so that the recipient knows what to do. And it's a really pretty decorative edge. I love the pop of color it adds to the top. Now next up, I'm gonna put this onto my card with some foam tape. And the reason I like to put it on with foam adhesive is that it makes it easier to be able to get your fingers in there and grab that pull tab. So I'm gonna add the foam tape to the back and add that right onto my card base. And now you can see just how cute this is. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how adorable this is. These cards are so quick and easy to do and they are so much fun. So next up, I'm going to be recreating a card by Yainea. So thank you so much, Yainea, for letting me recreate your card for the video. And we're gonna be using some really rainbow paper. So I'm gonna take out that rainbow school lined paper there, and we're gonna trim that down, this time to a standard size card. So this is gonna be five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're gonna make our same pencil mark. So we're gonna make the mark in the middle, and then we're gonna make our line all the way down the center. We can then take the notch die, butt that up right against the top of the paper, line it up with our pencil line, run it through the die cut machine, and now we have a perfectly centered notch. Now I'm gonna work on some of the decorating for this card. So I'm gonna die cut this beautiful stitch rectangle frame out of the wood grain cardstock. And I'm also gonna cut this scripty hello die out of guava cardstock, and then a bunch of white cardstock as well. And I'm gonna stack all of these die cuts together to create a really cool dimensional scripty hello, which looks amazing. I love kind of the white below and the cool just popped up look that it gives. So I'm gonna layer the three white ones and then I'm gonna add the guava one right on top. And I just love the look and the three dimensional of it. I'm also gonna take that scalloped rectangle frame there and I'm gonna lay that right onto the card and then use my scissors to cut off any of the frame that was going into the notch. So this way it's gonna look really, really custom because it's gonna have that really cool frame all of the way around. The next step is to use that curved slot die on the Let's Toast toaster. So we're gonna line that up right with that first little slot there, and then we can go ahead and run that through the die cut machine, and now we have a slot that's perfect for the Pop-Tart. And that's what's so cool about this die is that it works with the toaster and it works with the Pop-Tart as well. So the reason I added the hello on there and the frame is I needed it as a guide as to where I was gonna put my toaster so that I can make that little mark that's gonna tell me where to put that straight slot that's included in the die. So we're just gonna line that up with that little mark that we made, run it through the die cut machine, and now we have that slot in perfect placement and we can erase that pencil line. I've die cut the pull tab piece and once again, we're gonna fold in on the score line closest to the center and then we're gonna fold out and then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Then I'm just gonna take my bone folder to really reinforce those creases. We're gonna take those two pieces together, hold them together, run it through the slot, and then open them back up. Then we can add some tape runner all over those pieces, just like that. And then we can add the toaster, once again, lined up towards the top of that piece, just like that. You can see how cute that toaster pastry looks. Oh my goodness. Now, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and do my stamping, and I was a little bit nervous to stamp with that already on there, but I needed to know where that pastry was gonna be before I stamped the poppin' up to say, and it ended up working out, thank goodness. Now here you're gonna see I'm gonna be working with the sleeve. So I folded along the score lines that those created for me, added some adhesive to the middle, and then I added that sleeve to the back of the card. So just like that, we're gonna add that sleeve, attach it to the card base, then we're gonna fold the right piece in, and then we can add some adhesive to the piece on the left, and we can fold that so that it's on the outside of the whole sleeve. And this is gonna keep that pull tab moving nice and perfect. Now we're gonna take some foam squares and put them on either side of the toaster, thread that Pop-Tart through our toaster, and attach it, making sure to cover up any of that slot with the toaster. We'll put the toaster pastry in the toaster, and then we're gonna trim off any of the excess of the pull tab die. 
and then we can take our little decorative pull tab piece, fold it in half, add some adhesive to that, and then add that onto the pull tab. And I love that pop of color. It's so pretty. I just, oh, it's just adorable. So here I'm going to create a standard size card that's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. And you'll see that I put a ton of foam squares all along the back of that card and I attached it right onto my card base. Here I have my milk and cookies stamp set. So I went ahead and colored in some milk because I thought that would be the perfect addition there to our little pop tart. I think it's just adorable. And then we can add that hello on there. And that's one of the things I love about this set. It's super cute for Valentine's, but it works for all year round. So you can see here we did popping up to say hello, but you could easily stamp happy birthday below there. Thank you, anything that you can think of, which I think is so awesome. So here I took a little heart die that's in our mini pop-up box and I die cut a bunch of them in craft cardstock and then stacked them all together kind of like how I did the hello and then I attached to the top of it one in some pixie dust sparkle cardstock and then layered that right onto the toaster so it would be this cute little dimensional heart and now you can see how much fun is this card oh my goodness I love the little colored sprinkles on the little pastry and how he's coming in and out of the toaster it's so cute and such a fun interactive card. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with this awesome pull tab add-on die, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!